Alright, so I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos today because, as you know, I have a lot of things to say and I'm not going to upload a lot more for maybe the rest of this week or month, regardless. Now, it's going to be like a series. I already spoke about private education all these other things. I'm going to try to kick up the pace a little bit because this next subject is one that's going to strike home with a lot of other libertarians out there. It's sort of how I'm conflicted with this left libertarianism minarchist ideal. Where some people are thinking, or some people are on the Ron Paul side. I think a lot of ripe libertarians, a lot of libertarians who are anti states and really don't want any form of democracy or states are still not really, and even anti-minarchist libertarians who just want a pure state society, they don't really jump to dissing Ron Paul because, as you know, Ron Paul is generally liked by a lot of libertarians and that would cause a lot of crossfire. But in actuality, I really want to get this done as quickly as possible because as you can tell, I don't really like the fact that Ron Paul is running for office. I'm not Ron Paul for 2012. That's not what it's about for me. We're acting like this guy is going to be the end of all the insistent bullcrap that the other presidents have done year by year by year. And that's not the case. I know he was a fan of the Austrians, but in this case, I'm pushing towards more of the Milton Friedman side. I'm not really leaning towards the Ron Paul side in any means. And I'm going to get into the arguments why, since this, damn, this intro already took 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That's why I have to make this a series. Alright, let's like my shirt. I don't know why I said that. Alright. Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. First off is that he advocates that the constitute he advocates the constitutional law. What I mean is that he uses the constitution in a lot of his arguments really as a means of being pro-state <laughs> I already got comments for previous video and he makes a lot of statements about being alright I was distracted I probably said some bullshit let's start from the top he uses the constitution a lot of his arguments saying that he's pro-state that he doesn't like this unified, powerful federal government. He likes, you know, a lot of smaller, weaker states. And that the Constitution should be used for so that a lot of these policies, these powerful views such as abortion and gay marriage and all this stuff that I'm really just neutral to. But I can understand this great area. It could be dealt with via polycentric law. And he advocates that the ideal means of making laws to make these use the constitution to make these things separate in a statist manner. That's dealt with individual states. My problem with that statement is that uh, all right, it's better. That's the red herring, though. That's the red herring. It's better. Wouldn't it be better just to drop the whole thing and have like a completely stateless society with polycentric law that can deal with these issues in a more rubbery way? Not this rigid way that could probably collapse and lead to obsession and necessary conflicts and wars. Better a secession that's peaceful than one of, you know, two states and maybe a confederacy versus 
the United States. I mean, that was a sign that the Constitution isn't a good thing, it's a bad thing. Ron Paul is a little bit confused about the Constitution. If you think about it, the Constitution has passed tons of amendments to unify people, to unify the states, make sure that one state's laws isn't completely different from another state. Let's take Arizona, for instance. Arizona's a lot more strict with border control. Let's say that you know a new amendment is going to be passed once more states are into this. That soon it won't just be Arizona; it'll be New York, Alaska, Utah, all the states, Texas, California. All the states have to run this way, and so that's a big issue in my head. You know, you can have these guys who, once you're walking by and you're suspected of being this douche who's hopped the border, they can ask you for an ID and, fine, fine, but the Constitution will probably be used to make this a unified issue, a federal issue, not an individual state issue, so why would you advocate that? these attitudes are unconstitutional. They're absolutely constitutional. They're absolutely constitutional. What's more, what's more, what's more? I mean, slavery, slavery was something that people wanted to be unified, not this individual state thing that was for a while, where some states would be slave states and the others would be free states. What's more, same with segregation in schools. It wasn't something that was involved with all states. Interracial marriage, that's something I know. It was illegal in Georgia for a while. Yet moving away from Georgia would be inconvenient. That is, leaving would. Leaving was much more hard than staying, dealing with the horrid laws. So there you go with that. Constitution has also been used to legalize women's suffrage. Before it would be like some states gave women more rights. And another thing is that. Sorry about slowing the pace here. Let's slower let's lower the pace even though we only got like seven minutes left on the clock. We still got ample time. Now, what's another thing that Ron Paul gets to live? Ron Paul gets into lots of crossfires where he makes statements which I would agree with, but then when he gets into heat, he sort of cowers down. See, no offense to Ron Paul, but he's a pussy. He denied claims with his segregation comments you really can't say anything that's negative without or controversial without having to turn into a complete bitch yeah he's a pussy ass bitch just, there's nothing else I could call him once people start to act in a blusterous manner he cowers down he can't defend his claims. That's some, why I really don't want him for 2012. Because he's probably just going to be another pussy ass bitch who won't get the job done. And I really don't want anyone for 2012. Personally, just end the democracy already. I don't want the democracy. I don't want this fiscal socialism. It's not going to end well in the long run. Democracy isn't this positive thing. I know people are going to go and say, well, this is a really ignorant statement. Democracy is a good thing. People have died for democracy, like people have died for the Roman Catholic Church and communism and
and what else? Fascism. Let's see, radical religions. You name it. People have been Marty heirs for the most absurd of things. And, however, this is a tangent. Now, there's not much to be said. Ron Paul. I'm not going to find anything decent in minarchism. Boot democracy, boot to either imperialism or these separated states, this semi polis system, and rather than the cosmopolitan system we have now. They both suck. The state does not protect rights. It is a an entity, not a system for us. It is not a human system de developed as an institution or system that functions with society. That they're all functioning together like this. It's a separate entity. To become its own entity that only interacts with us through means that are absurd.